Allah says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 188, Eat up not wealth amongst yourselves or use it as a bait for judges in order that willfully, wrongfully you will eat other people's wealth. So giving money as bribe is prohibited in the Quran. Quran has the solution for economy. Allah says in no less than eight places, riba has been prohibited. And Allah says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 278 and 279 about riba, about interest, that those who give up not the demands of riba, demands of interest and usury, take notice of a war from Allah and his Rasul. That means Allah and his Rasul will wage a war against you if you deal in riba. It is the 12th major sin in Islam according to Imam Adabi in his book, The Kabair, The Major Sins. Quran has the solution for all the problems. Whether it be an individual problem, whether it be a family problem, whether it be a society problem, whether it be a national problem, whether it be a global problem. Quran has the solution for all the problems. Therefore, I say, Quran is a global necessity. Quran has a solution to the problem, whether it be social problem, whether it be psychological problem, whether it be economical problem, whether it be political problem. Because Quran has a solution to all the problems, Quran is a global necessity. I would like to end my speech by giving one more message of the Quran, which I mentioned earlier that one of the criteria to go to Jannah is Dawah. And I'll be giving a talk in Abuja on the 5th of November on Sunday, Dawah or destruction. Muslims, choice Dawah or destruction. You do Dawah, otherwise you'll be destroyed. I'll just quote one verse of the Quran of Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse 110, where Allah says, Kuntum khaira ummatin khrijat nas. Oi, Muslims, you are the best of people evolved for mankind. Allah is giving us an honor and calling us the best of people. There is no honor without responsibility. Don't you think we have a responsibility? Allah continues and says, Ta'muruna bil ma'rufi wa tanhawna anni munkar. Because we enjoy what is good, and we forbid what is wrong, and we believe in Allah. If we do not enjoy what is good, and if we do not forbid what is wrong, we aren't fit to be called as khaira ummah, we aren't fit to be called as Muslims. Doing da'wah is part on every Muslim. Otherwise, you shall not go to Jannah. Only praying, fasting, hajj is not sufficient. According to Surah al -Asar, if you don't do da'wah, you shall not enter Jannah. I would like to end my speech with the verse of the Quran, which is repeated three times. It's mentioned in Surah Tawbah, chapter 9, verse number 33. And Surah Fatah, chapter number 48, verse number 28. And Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 9. Huwa alladhi arsala rasulu bil huda wa dhine al-haq. Allah sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth so that it will prevail over all the other religions, all the other isms, whether it be communism, atheism, Christianism, Hinduism, Judaism, Islam is this time to supersede all. Overcome them all. And Allah says in two places, how much the mushriks don't like it. And one place Allah says, that and enough is Allah is a witness. Allah does not require you and me the rubbish that we are. Allah does not require you and me to solve the problem of the Palestine. He can do within seconds. Kun fayakun. Allah is giving us an opportunity to earn Jannah. Allah is seeing what you are going to do for the cause of a Palestinian brothers and sisters. Allah has given us this all the luxury. The clothes, the food we eat. What are we doing for our brothers in Palestine? For our sisters in Palestine? I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he grant them Jannah and give them sabr and give them victory over the Zalimun. Wa akhir dawan alhamdulillah rabbil alameen.